Hello and welcome to a new vlog and trip report and today we're traveling with the Harz Berlin Express which is a combination of a regional train and a long distance train and I will explain a bit more about this. In this video of course we are starting at the station of Goslar and we're going all the way to Berlin in one video. Here we can take a look at the building of the station of Goslar, which is quite a beautiful building from the exterior. The interior is not that spectacular, it's a bit more modern, there are not too many shops available. So this is not too spectacular, but the exterior is quite nice. And here we can also see the underpass to the platforms and here we can see my train arriving. So as you can see this looks like a regular regional train and it is basically a regular regional train of Abellio Lin 41 with a very good interior. We have movable armrests, big tables, power sockets, we have multiple power sockets available as you can see here and the seats are also quite comfortable so very good interior. We are now leaving Goslar, going through the station of Oka without stopping and continuing on the railway line goslar Fienenburg. Our next stop will also be in Fienenburg. From there we are continuing for example with stops in Werningerode to Halberstadt and then on to Magdeburg and Berlin. Until Magdeburg we are a regular regional train with stops at multiple stations and you can use this train with all tickets that are valid in a regional trains, for example Deutschland ticket and others. So this is a pretty regular train until Magdeburg, but after Magdeburg we are a private long distance train and that means that usually the regional train tickets are not valid anymore until Berlin. I tried to get the very nice seat in Gosla because I was planning to stay four hours in this train until Berlin but that didn't go to plan but I will tell you a bit more about this later on. For now we can enjoy a fantastic view in a suddenly very nice weather north of the Harz. We can see the mountains of the Harz in the background and the very nice light shortly before sunset. So basically the concept of this train is that it is a regional train until Magdeburg but then it continues on to Berlin and for the stretch to Berlin you need an additional ticket which is about 20 euros. In my case the train attendee told me that I do not need a extra ticket so it seems to be new that you can use the Deutschland ticket in this train all the way to Berlin but I don't know if this was just a trial if that was just a short period or if it's now all the time like this so make sure to ask if your Deutschland ticket is valid if you have those tickets or if your other tickets are valid you need to pay extra to go to Berlin so just speak with the train staff. The problem in this case was that the train was not going to Berlin at all. We had to change trains in Halberstadt. That was because one of the doors were broken. 
basically trains can operate with a broken door because there in the Lint 41 is still another door available. But they told us that on the train to Berlin there is a very high amount of people using that train, also a lot of people going with the bikes and therefore it's not possible to have a train with a broken door running on that line so they had to change the train in Halberstadt. Here we are in Werninger Rode and you can see the steam locomotives of the Harzer Schmalsch, Bobane Harzer Narrow Gauge Railways. Of course this will also be an upcoming topic of a video here on this channel. But for now we are going not through the hearts but round the hearts and continue on to Halberstadt where I had to change the train to get the train with a proper functioning door. That was not that much of a problem. The train that I was on was continuing on a regional train line instead and we got a new train for the Hearts Berlin Express. We just had to change trains and as these trains can be very crowded I was a bit worried that I might not get a nice seat again at the window so I can make this video for you. So I was not too happy about that change but of course if it's necessary we have to do it. And that's what we did. It worked out quite well. I got a pretty good seat on the new train as well. As just everybody from this train went to the other train and we continued. Because anyway in Halberstadt we were supposed to get a second part coupled to our train. As the Harz Berlin Express is not only going from Goslar to Berlin but also from Thale to Berlin. And those two units get coupled together here in Halberstadt and then continue on together to Berlin. Usually we were supposed to change the direction here in Halberstadt and go on directly to Magdeburg but that railway line was closed due to construction so we had to take a detour via Aschersleben, Augusten and Stassfurt and Schönebeck. That took a little bit longer so we had a delay of about 30 minutes in the end but that was not a problem for me because I had a nice and comfortable seat and I could work on my laptop as there were tables and power circuits available. So it was a quite pleasant train ride. Usually it would be possible to shorten the delay a little bit on the stretch to Berlin from Magdeburg but we got a regional train in front of us that we couldn't overtake so that's why we kept our delay of about 30 minutes. Quite interesting is that as I said it is only a regional train until Magdeburg. From Magdeburg on Officially it is not allowed to board the train, so at all stops from Magdeburg to Berlin it's only allowed to leave the train on the way to Berlin. As from there we are not a regular regional train, but a private long distance train. And there are a few difficult laws in Germany and that's why it's only allowed to leave the train at the stops after Magdeburg, but not to get on the train. For example you cannot use the Harz Berlin Express to go from Magdeburg to Berlin. The good thing about this is that this means that after Magdeburg the train can only get less crowded. So that's quite convenient. But what is the actual concept of the Harz Berlin Express? Why is this train existing at all? It's only running on weekends and it is mainly intended for people from Berlin that want to spend a day on the weekend in the mountains of the Harz, which is a very very beautiful part of Germany and for a short day excursion you can use this train to go to the Harz, spend your day there and then go back to Berlin on the same day. And that's why the train is only leaving Berlin on Saturdays and Sundays, so very early in the morning, 7 o'clock train is leaving in the first station in Berlin, for example 7.23 in Berlin, a main station and then you're arriving in Goslar shortly before 11 or in Thale also shortly before 11 o'clock. And then you have a lot of time to spend in Thale or Goslar and then shortly after 5 in the evening the trains are leaving Thale and Goslar again and then together at 6 o'clock they are leaving Halberstadt and going back to Berlin where you will arrive between 8.30 and 9 o'clock in the evening. So you have a full day in the Harz Mountains which is a quite nice way to spend your weekend. Of course you could also leave Berlin on a Saturday, stay for one night in the Harz and then go back on a Sunday and if you're living in the Harz area you can also take this train for a short weekend trip to Berlin as the first train is leaving the Harz after work on Fridays 5 o'clock then you're late in the evening in Berlin. You can spend Saturday and Sunday in Berlin and then there is a train leaving Berlin only on Sundays, very late in the evening, nine o'clock on Sundays to go back to the Harz Mountains. 
Usually you are supposed to pay 20 euros, but as I said in my case the Deutschland ticket was a valid. There are also tickets to go to and from Berlin to the Harz or the other way around. That will be 33 euros per person. Let's go. Here we are in Potsdam and now we can listen to the sound of the Lin 41 of the Harz Berlin Express once again. These trains are operated by Abellio that is also operating a lot of regional trains in the Harz area, especially east and north of the Harz mountains, but only for a couple more months. And then all lines of the diesel network of Abellio will be taken over by Start, a sister company of Deutsche Bahn, but they will use the exact same train so we will not lose the comfort of these trains on those routes. And the Harz Berlin Express is part of that diesel network and they're using the exact same trains like on the other lines. So also in the future you will have the same trains on the Harz Berlin Express but operated by Start instead of a Bellio. But that shouldn't make that much of a big difference as they are using the same trains. And also the schedule should be staying more or less the same. Here we are already in the middle of Berlin, slowly approaching the main station of Berlin and then I'm continuing on until Friedrichstraße, which is my final stop of the day. And even though I had to change train in Halberstadt and we had a delay of 30 minutes, it was still a very pleasant and comfortable ride, so I can highly recommend taking the Harz Berlin Express, as I said, if you want to go to the Harz for a day or for a weekend to Berlin. And that's already it for this video. I hope it was interesting for you. Here you can see the name of the song and when the next video will be uploaded. As always, I'd like to say thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to comment, like or share the video link. And if you want to see more train videos like that or other travel videos, make sure to subscribe and I hope to see you in my next video then.